How's it going everybody, Gold Hat here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 40 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough guide and in this entry we are going to be starting the Jotunheim arc. So picking up where we left off, we have started the Asgard arc and we have completed it by killing the Builder. Once we leave Asgard, we will get another mission from the Seer and that is going deeper. We will get a map marker here and it is going to be the very bottom right of England, which we will head there now. Once we arrive, we'll go in a cave, get a couple plants that will be highlighted for us. Once we get those, we can take them back, get a potion and we can get to Jotunheim. So this is going to be the building that we need to go into. Once we come in here, we can take a right and we will have a little tunnel we can drop down. And once we get in here, we are in the cave. Once we drop down here, there are going to be multiple keys down here. We will need all of them to leave this area. I'm going to go ahead and show you all those key locations. If you're having problems with picking up the keys, all you have to do is just jump back and forth to where the key is while pressing the button that you pick your key up with, and that will pick it up, and I will show you that now.
Now that we have gotten all the ingredients for the potion, we are going to head back to Valka in Ravensthorpe, which we will just fast travel there now. And all we have to do is just walk in here, we will get a cutscene, and she will make the potion. I have the plan you ask for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Eivor. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly. So as you can see here, there are two potions at the table. One on the left is going to be for Asgard, and the new one on the right is going to be for Jotunheim.
Jotunheim. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angerboda. She knows all that happens here. So now that we have entered Jotunheim, we will get our Ark, and our first mission of that Ark is going to be Mysteries of the Iron Wood. We will get a map location here. We're going to go ahead and fast travel there real quick, cutting out all of that travel so we don't have to watch that, and I will talk to you once we get there. What see you, old friend? So that was the overview of this area and how to beat this magic here is you want to find the gold dust that's flying around. Once you do that, you want to walk into it without looking at the object you're trying to find. Once you walk into it, flip back around and walk back the same way and it will be revealed to you. I do not know how accurate this tip is, but the wealth that is right here in this location, you might want to grab right now or right after this cutscene, because I have heard that after you've beaten this mission, you are unable to get this wealth anymore. So make sure you grab that. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Anger, Boda. I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I have come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugar from one body to another. The mead. You seek the mead. Hirokin, you have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. Next up in our objectives, we need to find and enter the waterfall. We will get a map location on this one. It is going to be just south of us. We are going to go ahead and fast travel there real quick. Once we arrive, it will look like this. We will have to defeat the magic one more time, and I will show you how to do it on this one. The waterfall should be nearby, but I see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. The gold dust will be right in front of us. We just want to climb up these rocks. We're going to walk into it, walk out of it, and we will find a waterfall at the bottom. This land hides its secrets well, but no secret is safe from me. <laughs> Anger for the set to look where the red moss grows. A cavern beneath the lake. This land is savage, full of marbles. Now that we're in here, we need to find three roots. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of those, and I will talk to you right after. Thor's beard. Look at this place. Yggdrasil's great tendrils reach everywhere in this realm. that spoke of a pungent root there should be more around dank and drear they say hell is the same 
Smells strange down here. That will be enough for anger, Boda. I should find my way out. Next up in our objectives, we need to bring the roots back to that house up in the tree. So we're just going to go ahead and head over there right now. Have a look, Sunan. I have done as you asked. Now where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We... Uh, we have been weakened. By treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I... I did not mean to say that. I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now. You have said you want the mead. But how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. 
Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. Uh, 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 no, no! Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Suttungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Suttungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor, say the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the meat? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Suttungr, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Suttungr in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgardr. Suttungr would be grateful indeed if I return that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgardr. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Now that we have been cut down, we will get two more quests. And our first one that we are going to be messing with is the Lost Cauldron. All we have to do for our first objective is to find the cauldron's trail. We will get a map marker and that will be really close to us. So let's go ahead and knock this one out. I need your eyes, my friend. Steel and flesh met here, but Jotnar leave no corpses. This card bears the sign of Aegir. A ditch was dug, so the card would break a wheel. This was an ambush. Something huge was dragged this way. If it was Aegir's cauldron, they dragged through here. It must be large indeed. Destruction leads towards that giant root. The 
Mitten of the Great Jotun, Skrimir, dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. not to draw attention here. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave? That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion. to reach it. Too big to carry, but things are not always as they seem in Jotunheim. The cauldron has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Suttunger's favor. I could go to Utgard now. But a gift for Gunlother would improve my chances at getting the mead.
Now that we have gotten the cauldron, we will get another quest, and that is going to be a feast to remember. But before you do that, you want to start the next mission that is a gift from the past. We will get a map marker, which we are going to head there right now. There will be a couple enemies in this area that you need Survey to take out. Once you do, we will jump into the water and we will swim all the way down and we will find our Holy bracelet Ram's that we need. Stood here before ruin came upon it. breath in your body. Loki often tells the tale of how Thrym stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. bridal circlet. This will be a gift worthy of Gunlothar's attention. Now that we have completed that mission, we will get another one, and that is going to be a feast to remember, which we are going to start right now. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Sutungur is always thinking. Don't trust anyone that thinks that much. Small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunger want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hymir's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. 
Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlother. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. What do you see, Suna? Here is the stone circle, but no way into the sanctum. Gunlother, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from in there? Yes. I leave them words, little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep. Sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? 
I haven't been outside in... Oh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there is one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotnar. We will find another way. We must. No sense trying. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. Drudgery is our lot. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long, we made magics there, in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Harvey, your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vaults, then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an ace here, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend! I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wit, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. 
They respect deeds, not hollow talk. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I offer a toast to great Suttunger. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! I need to empty that cauldron. Then so we will need to get everybody to drink the rest of the cauldron. What we need to do is just run around and complete all these little missions for these people. I'm going to go ahead and run through all this real quick, and I will talk to you right after. Harvey! Show us your might! Beat that champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion. I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do you mock me? I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she's truly your champion, then so be it. I'll try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Don't be shy! your fists against the champion. Don't be scared of that crumble bones. This is too strong for you. My lambs hit harder than you. Can you not be? Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me, then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! They beat the champion? Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Drink in the name of Harvey! I see musicians. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a song bring his instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go die from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Get your grubby paws off my harp. My turn! My turn! Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> But they won't do it. Help! There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umi has hairy balls. That was amazing. You must be half raven. Who taught you such language? Mother. Why? Harvey, will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink, 
and let fly! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. The mead is half gone. The Nagy's cauldron can be drained. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Gunlother looks glum. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I'll see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. When you feel ready, take a drink and I can play. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Udgard, ancient keep of the Jotnar. Sutungar holds sway within those walls. The kitchen. Here I might find some way to make the guests thirsty. Hot spices call for a cooling drink. Now how can I use this? No guests in the kitchen! Out! These guests will drink more with fire in their mouths. Mm. Is that Come, give it a try. There? What's... Surely you would Come, dare. Give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played the game. Last time I played your game. I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Close your eyes, your luck will improve! Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. What can I do to get them to drink faster? 
Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold the boat. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold the boat. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly royals like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutunga. Your guests thirst for meat, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Good Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Next up, we need to find and get the mead. We are just going to go to the vault now. We can just jump over here to the left and swing all the way down there, which I am going to do right now. Once we do have this dialogue, we will have a romance option. This will not affect anything. This will actually make this a lot smoother. Others. So I highly recommend I you do you this. But overall, this will not affect anything or change anything down the road. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlother. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nornir spin their patterns. We can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There is perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know.
Mead. By this strange magic, my Diesia evade our doom. Hirakin has promised answers at the will of Mimir. Red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Harvey. You would gamble with uncountable lives! <laughs> to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Deceiver! False tongue! Dishonorable trickster! Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Avi, but not your own. We will see. Now that we have completed a Here feast to remember, we will get another mission, well. and this mission is going to be the last one, and it will be called the Price of Wisdom. We are going to that location now. It is going to be north on the map. Once we arrive, we will be fighting Loki. So if you need any equipment upgrades or any arrows, make sure you get them now. Cast about this land, my friend. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare to show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Suttunger, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Aesir, for Vanir, for all Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead. All so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. 
but how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now! You are out of favors, Trickster, and you are welcome to try. the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! Let's see if you fight as well as you lie. When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! Quarter this time, Loki. You have gone too far. Hush, you Loki. We were like brothers once. Why wait till Ragnarok when you can die now? You meant to have me killed. I will never forgive that. I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. No quarter this time, Loki. You have gone too far. to have me killed. I will never forgive that. When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all... Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! <laughs> Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone. Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain. And remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asgard. To remember you, it must know you. 
Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your hooker will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I have had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard. To right after completing people. the price of wisdom and getting that cutscene, this will complete the arc. The last mission to complete it, though, is going to be leaving here. So we are just going to go to the world map. We are going to go to the very bottom and you will see the eye feature. We are just going to press wake up and we will be back in the Seer's hut. Come. Settle your mind, and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Volka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death, shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are.
So now that we have completed that arc, we will complete the mission in Ravensthorpe going deeper. We will get another mission now, and that is going to be Bound to Fate. We need to head back to Asgard, which we will be picking up in Entry 41. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I will see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.